Yeah, so when fishing with bait, um, the bait caster definitely is the better reel to use in the bay here. Yeah. Um, it's much easier to use. Um, once you've cast it and set the jag, um, click that little thing up, it makes it much easier, it runs easily. And then simply to set the hook, you just engage the gear. Then you're on the fighting drag. You know, no reason to, oh, got loops here everywhere. No reason to, to reset the whole thing. Um, it's very simple. Just put it out, leave it out, turn the handle, and you're into the fighting drag. Very, very simple and very effective. Um, the problem with a conventional reel in the bay, as I know a lot of guys have been using it forever, but when you're leaving it and letting it lie, on the bottom there, um, you, you've got to cast out, then you've got to release the, the drag, right, you've got to get the tension right, and, and um, so that when it runs, it runs freely. The problem with that is, is when that fish is running, is to then try and tighten that drag to set it to exactly where you need it. If you, if you set it too loose, you can lose a fish, if you set it too tight, you'll break off. Um, so fishing light stuff in the bay I definitely recommend the bait the bait runner bait, um, the, uh, there's another name for it is a bait feeder um, you can see it's got the little what's name on the bottom there and um, the Seamars are a brilliant range to, to look at uh, the Seamars started in a 1000 size that's what I like to use for the bay I got that spooled with 8 pound braid and this is 8 pound finesse braid and then um, you get a, the next size up is a 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, thereabouts. Um, so we can cater for just about anything on the SEMO range. The SEMO range is good for, for using in the bay. Um, the, the, the problem with bait feeders is that there is a, se a second drag in the bottom here. And um, if you get water in there permanently, it does affect the, 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 the uh, drag at the bottom there. This can be repaired if you take it to somebody. but the best is to avoid that. So avoid getting a lot of salt water in that on there. If you're getting splashed a lot on salt water and that, uh, on a real and a normal fishing circumstances on a boat or something like that, it's not a problem. It's when you're in the water and, you, and you're wading and things like that, then you get a lot of water in that, that it's a problem. But simple, simple solution to that is when you get home, make sure you wash these reels out quite nicely with fresh water and that. It's simply, I just spray it or just run it under the tap a little bit and then put it aside. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and that's it. There's not much to it, but that's it. That's the uh, the bait runner, bait feeder, however you would like to call it. I keep calling it a bait caster. Bait caster is a different thing. It's got a little thumb bar. So if I have called it a, a bait caster, forgive me, it is a bait runner or bait feeder. Check them out at the local shops. Um, brilliant, brilliant for fishing, as you'll see on the video now. Unfortunately, not a lot of big fish caught today. But um, but it was great fun, it really, uh, and that's the one thing I like about these little reels is that you catch a little, little fish, and it's good fun. And, and fishing nowadays is is all about the time out there. Um, it's expensive to get out with fuel and that, and you want to have the best fun possible when you do get out there. So chopping down in size, going down to light stuff, and catching the little fish, you're still having your fun. Enjoy, guys. Thanks. All right, we're here in the harbour. We're fishing for. Grunter today, as I mentioned previously, this is the trace I'm using. It's taken from carp fishing. So you got two swivels, and then you got your sinker between the two swivels. And on the bottom there, Hayabusa number one octopus hook. And then it runs to a little bit of a leader, and then to my eight pound braid. Just one hook at the moment. I might go two hooks depending on what happens later. All right. And I got it all twisted up here. Not too far out. 316th ounce you get, or 316th ounce weight. Give it a bit of line. So I'm using the, the bait runner today. You can see this is a little Seymour 1000 bait runner. Um, so it's a beautiful function for fishing for grunter. Click it over and it's free running. All you do is when you get a bite, just reel into it. Vera is going to fish with a conventional reel today, and we're going to see which one is easier to fish with. There you go. Now we just got to wait and see what happens.
So just to show you the hooks we're using, uh, first is a Ayabusa circle, um, a number four, land it, bait holder nickel, and that's a number one. And then I've been using these octopus shorts and uh, just got bitten off now completely, so I don't know what it was, probably a shad. Um, but I'm using the octopus short, extremely sharp little hooks these, um, well worth it for Grunter, very strong. And let me change my trace and get back to it. We have just got a bite. Uh, uh, on, uh, yeah. Do you by the time you... Yeah, I think it takes too long to set that thing. Wait and see, wait and see. Yeah, still, there. still there, still there. It's the tip of that rod, a little 5 foot 6. Power plus finesse. Awesome little setup there for fishing in the bay. I always cast the wrong side of the boat, eh? Yeah, there we go. On dead. Must be at least a half a kg. Oh yeah, a little cobby, eh? <laughs> yeah, a little cob. Nice one. Top hook. Top hook. Always top hook. Yeah. Ah. He ate both hooks, had Oh, he's, <laughs> yeah. got, oh, he's got both hooks. <laughs> okay. There you go. Nice. Both hooks in the mouth. Greedy's <laughs> <laughs> player. Yeah. Okay. See how the bait runner works, yeah. There you go, we got one on here. And you just wind it in and you're on. There you go. Not much to it. And I got this massive fish on the other. Huge fish. I think it'll yeah, equal yeah. the size of. Oh no, it came off. It came oh, off right here. No. Yeah. Uh, small fish. Going back out with that same bit of bait on. See what you do is once you once you cast it out there, you set the drag already to your right tension, um, so you don't break off, and then you just engage the little clutch one, clutch at the back there. There we go. This one got a lucky bite. Yeah. Fishing is starting to come on now. And we we'll put it out again and see what happens. Yeah, still there. There we go, there we go, there we go. We're getting some bites. He's on there. He's on. Small fish, there's nothing big there. Yeah, he's on. He's swimming with it there. Definitely on the drop off on the deeper side. Only place we're getting the bites. There we go. Engage. Oh, how did I miss it? There we go. There he is. I think he's on. Yeah. There we go. Oh, the drag is going again. Giant one, absolute giant, absolute yeah, giant. Cool. Come on, a double the size of yours, man. Come ah. on, check it there. Circle look. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had a circle look on that one. I thought you 